The Argentinian manufacturer Artfark offers two products both aimed at cleaning up an Ethernet connection. In this review the flagship Ultra. Etymology is a bit my thing, so I can't help breaking the name down. An aardvark is a nocturnal mammal with a long snout. Since Afrikaans and Dutch are related, I recognize aard as earth and vark as pig. Fighting noise, which Ethernet filters do, is related to leading noise to earth, grounding if you like. So I love the name. But where is it to be used? The Artvark Ultra is to be plugged into a network connector on the streaming function in your stereo. For instance in the network player. The other side is to be connected to your modem slash router over a network patch cable. This way the streamer has access to the internet and your computer or NAS. The network player is then connected to your amp over either RCA or XLR cables. The output of the amp are connected to the loudspeakers over loudspeaker cables. You might improve the network connection by using a switch in between the modem slash router and the artvark. That doesn't need to be an audio file switch. If you use a separate network transport and DAC it will look like this. Alternatively an AV receiver can be used in this way. Digital signals are rather robust. Data will not get lost easily, not even if there is a relatively high level of jitter or noise in the digital signal. It's only when the digital signal is to be converted to analog that noise, DC shift and jitter will influence the exact moment samples are converted. And where good streamers can re-clock the incoming signal to a certain degree, DC shift and the type of noise coming from Ethernet seldom is fought properly. A switch mode power supply powering the modem slash router can do quite some harm, as can the internal electronics. I have discussed this all before. There are two ways to fight this noise. With active electronics like in audio file switches or with passive filtering and high frequency transformers. Over time I have developed a strong preference for a passive solution. The Artvark Ultra Ethernet filter falls into that category. The filter is housed in a small block of composite material measuring 50 by 23 by 23 mm. A short piece of sturdy wire connects it to the well known Taylor Gardner RJ45 network connector. There also is a classic model that costs about half and from the outside it looks almost the same. The Ultra has the Ultra moniker clearly engraved on two of the four sides. Opposite the Telegardner connector is an RJ45 entrance where the patch cable to the modem slash router or switch is to be inserted. The Artvark Ultra can't be opened so I can only report what Artvark shares on their internet pages. The base of the filtering is a high quality transformer. The housing and the short cable to the connector are heavily shielded using copper and mu metal. There is no circuit board. All connections are hardwired by hand using a silver alloy. The shielding of the Taylor Gatner RJ45 network connector is also very good since it's fully metal. Artvark states that it takes many hours to manufacture. The Artvark Ultra was tested in my reference set 1B where it was connected to the Zixel GS1900-10HP switch over a CAT6 patch cable. This is just a good normal switch, not an audio file type. The other side was connected to the Magna Mano Ultra MK3 Farad network player, now running Gen2 player software. That in turn was connected to the Holo Audio Cyan 2 DAC over a 50 cm short 4K UHD Twuzu HDMI cable. The Air Acoustics AX520 amp was connected to the Cyan 2 over Grim Audio SQM XLR cables 
and to the PMC FAC 1260 loudspeakers on stack audio over 70 isolators over the AudioQuest Robinhood Zero loudspeaker cable. The Artvac Ultra was taken in and out of the network connection for comparison. Later on the Network Acoustics Eno system, my reference in this setup, replaced the patch cable with Artvac for further comparison. Inserted between the CAT6 patch cable and the Magna Mano, the Artvac Ultra does make the music more lively, more free. There is not much change in tonal balance, but the music opens up more, it is more engaging. Sibilance also is slightly better controlled. And the sound levels seem to drop slightly in lower level music, while forte passages seem louder, so there is a perception of a greater dynamics. Something my SPL meter couldn't confirm. Then I compared it with my reference in set of 1B, the Network Acoustics Eno system. That opens up the sound even more and especially the stereo image was wider and deeper with even better placement. Combine a network player like the Magna Mano Ultra MK3 Farad running Gentoo player and use either network filter and you will be surprised what a good sound quality a modern streaming technology offers when it feeds a quality DAC. You really need a high end CD deck to beat this combo. The Eno was about 100 Euro higher in price and in indeed somewhat better. But for 1099 Euros including VAT, the Artvark is a good buy for anyone appreciating serious sound quality. And on that bombshell we come to the end of this video. There will be a new video next week, so subscribe to this channel or follow me on Patreon, Facebook, LinkedIn or Instagram to stay informed on when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumbs up or link to this video on the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, the links are in the comments below this video in YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you next week. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.